What's up? Here we are 28 days later, and we're still not taken down by a zombie horde. Little movie reference there. chi -hoo. Here we got Shifters, this piece of garbage. Sorry for my hate on this, but um, this game totally tricks you into buying it. It's in, it's a total garbage approach on this game. You um, you know, you get in, you download the trial, you get in the game, you want to play it, so you go to play game, and then it has like Xbox Live. That's the only option. There's no other option. So you click on the Xbox Live to play. Um, right here, you know, world stage, ready to race. You know, you click ready to race, and then it takes you. Um, this page pops up, and you you're thinking it's oh I gotta select the hard drive so you press A, but you're pressing buy. Oh my gosh! You know there's no other option. There's no other way to play the game. You know on the trial, absolutely no other way to play. They make you buy it and they totally jip you into it too. They don't tell you like, hey press A to buy the game. You know on the screen before that thing pops up. You know, but it's, it's retarded. And this is the only view in the game too. You know, there's the left bumper is the clutch, or left trigger is the clutch, and then you press up on the D-pad to shift up. I'm only I have three gears on my thing because I have a drag racing setup. But, um, and then, you know, there's nitrous and stuff with the A button. Look at that. Sub 20 seconds. Won 10,000 credits. You know, I won everything on the game already. But it's garbage how they trick you into buying it. You know, it's bleep and bleepers. Bleep, bleep. That's it. I've had enough with this game. 28 days. We got three videos to do. Right here's the third to the last one. We're not going to waste number three on this video. We're going to go do another video right now. Let me get out of this garbage. I exit. No, I don't want to send a message to people. Also, um, check the... I forgot. Ah, it's loading. Uh, I, I want to show you the leaderboards. The leaderboards... Our food bar because you can't see where you rank. I, I want to see like, oh, I got all this money. You know, I want to see where I rank against all the other people. You know, how much money did the other people get? But you can't see the leaderboards unless you actually play with someone else. And you only get to search for games for like three seconds. Right here, watch. Oh, really? Oh, really? I don't think that's going to happen. Because I'm not playing this game again because... Mm, you heard it already. Psych. <laughs> I I was so busy ranting, I forgot a couple of the things I wanted to say about the game. You know, there's some cool things on the game to you know try and keep you playing more and more. You know, they have unlockables on here. I'll show you right after I beat this dude. Um, uh, bad start. Gotta use nitrous on the start. But um, they got unlockables on here, you know, you win money and you can upgrade your car. Um, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, something to work for. Also, they have, um, like, their own version of achievements, trophies, you know, you do something special and you get a bunch of uh, credits for it in the game where you can, you know, put that towards unlocking stuff. You know, I mentioned before I unlocked everything, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of it right here. Okay, so you like, can uh, change the spoilers. I got all of them unlocked. The stock one is the fastest, obviously. <laughs> Exhaust. Um, that's the nitrous. You know how much nitrous you have to use. Gearbox. Um, I have the drag gearbox, so that's why I only have three gears. Different rims. Engine. Of course you want the fastest engine on there. And then body, you got... Three, a whole three paint jobs to choose from. <laughs> yeah, and then um, let me show you the honor they call it. Their their achievements. Yeah, so I have 13 of 24 unlocked, and you get a bunch of uh, credits. You know, see the reward on the bottom, like 6,000 for that one. That one's 50,000 credits. Do 200 races in one session. Yeah, right. Got kind of close to that last night. I did like 120 something. I had to go to sleep. And um, the game, I'll give it a, a 1.5. And yeah, some of that is being docked because of the stupid force you to buy it, trick you into buy it thing. It's ridiculous. 1.5 for this game. The sense of speed is pretty fun. You know, 
he can go like over 400 kilometers per hour you know it's make you feel like you're Lindsay Lohan leaving rehab or something, you know? But yeah, let's get to the next game. And here we are with the video number two for this same day. Um, Motor Heat. Three, I haven't really played two, this one too much because it's too busy playing right another one. <laughs> but this one is awesome. It's like Burnout. The controlling of the car is horrible, look at that. Look at me go back and forth with the car. But, um... Oh, extra multiplier. Gotta go next to these guys. You don't even have to hold um, the gas button. The gas button is easily terrible. But it's just like Burnout Paradise where you have to um, go next to the cars and you'll uh, get some more boost. You can go faster. Whoa, whoa. All you gotta do is dodge your cars. If you hit the cars, um, you basically die. You still start off like where you crashed into them, but it costs you a lot of time. And as you see on the left side, there's a time limit. And you know, you know this whole level up thing, you know, it kind of changes. Oh, there you see a crash. It's pretty good for an indie game trying to be Burnout Paradise, in my opinion. I am oh. But yeah, these level up things. It oh, put your blinker on. Yeah. You, what was I saying? Level up, yeah, it changes the level. Look how it's getting darker. Um, I know, like, one of the levels later on, like, it'll get really foggy. I think there's, like, a raining level and stuff. I gotta get closer to these cars. Woo! Look at the sense of speed on this. This gives Burnout Paradise a run for its money. You know, this is like you're a, a teenage girl going to a Justin Bieber concert. You know, that's exactly what it's like. That, that should be the whole concept of the game, you know, your destination is the Justin Bieber concert, and you're late! <laughs> the time counting down is the time to when his concert's gonna start. And you have to be there no matter what. Come on, get me closer to the cars! Oh, that is a close one. Yeah, if you like these uh, fast-paced games like Burnout Paradise, um, maybe even uh, Midnight Club to an extent, uh, the scenery of this game kind of reminds me of the Cruising USA games. Yeah. yeah. Don't expect any good handling on the car, just expect, you know, some crazy speed. Like Crazy Taxi, if you like Crazy Taxi, you might like this one too. Crazy Taxi and Burnout Fans, check this one out. Motor heat, uh, three out of five. Invincibility. And you can even go put um, Justin Bieber on your tunes while you race to this, and he'll be perfect. But yeah, that that's it for today. Not much to say about this game. You know, it's straightforward. What you see is what you get. But yeah, definitely check this one out. Invincibility. Invincibility. I can run through these cars. But yeah, I'm gone. Gone like the wind, seriously. No brakes, no limits, award unlocked. Yay. You can also customize your car and stuff. Wow, I'm, I'm ranked 4,999 out of 4,999. Awesome.